John McGuinness. John Corla, <coughs> the motion that's before us in, the term, in relation to the terms of reference uh, is one that now cannot be amended, is my understanding. And yet it's a motion that actually needs to be amended. And following our discussion with you uh, last night, Minister, and the whistleblowers, I believe that you should amend this motion. It is simply not possible that we should, or it, it is not acceptable that we should carry this motion today in, in the context of the terms of reference when we know so much about this that is wrong. And what we are doing here in this debate and in, in accepting your terms of reference, we're heaping further abuse on those families. We are now the abusers in this case. That is what is happening here. And let me explain why, Minister. You know, you know this. You know this. The whistleblowers, first and foremost, exhausted every single avenue in the HSE. They tried everything to highlight the case, and they weren't listened to. They were forced to come to the Public Accounts Committee to deal with a procurement issue about the reports that have cost this state almost €400,000. And it was out of that examination that came the story, not just of grace, that's a neat way of packaging it. It's not just Grace. It's Grace and 46 others that we need to look at. So we need to find out what happened within the HSE that covered up all of this scandal since 1982. That's what we need to do. We need to go back before Grace. And we need to humanise maybe this story. What about the young girl at 12 years of age, that was taken out of that home, and this was before Grace, taken out of that home because her mother was told by the school that she was attending school bruised and beaten and neglected. And when that mother made complaints in 92 to the health board, she was told to shut up. She was told not to repeat those stories. And she was threatened legally. When she took her child out of that care, she then had to seek care in Northern Ireland because the South Eastern Health Board wouldn't support her. How disgusting is that? And she's not going to be included in this report. And let's put real words on it. She was battered, bruised. She was sexually abused, financially abused, and sexually abused anally, so that today, that woman has a life of pain and suffering, and you're not going to investigate her case. We should be ashamed of ourselves. What about the young boy that was there, who, when he heard about Grace, came out and said, if only I had spoken up about what happened to me, then Grace might not have happened at all. And he carries that burden with him. He carries that burden with him. And then Grace. She turns up at the daycare centre, five foot high, five kilos, and they say, the doctor's report says that she was slim and well. Now, if that's not an attempt to cover up what was happening in that home, then I don't know what is. She was battered, bruised, sexually abused anally, uh, de deprived of her money, neglected. Is neglect not abuse in itself? And you've listened to some of the parents. I listened to a parent this morning for one hour as she cried about the abuse that her daughter suffered, as she cried about the quality of life that she now has. And I spoke to the carer this morning who cried bitter tears again over the fact that they were not being listened to. This was a major cover-up by the HSE. It was an astonishing set of events that has led to lives being destroyed. And we are now here discussing a set of terms of reference that are inadequate and that were not recommended by Dignan. He said, and you know this, Minister, stop, stop covering up. You know this. He, his terms of reference are far more robust than what you have put in here. And he refers to the fact 
that the other cases need to be investigated. I fully support the investigation in terms of grace. But the other ones, the other ones, they will not, Minister, and you know this, you know this, and you've heard the public commentary last night where you are being told that we are further abusing these families and these individuals because we're neglecting to take on board what the whistleblowers actually said, what Dignam actually said. And if we pass this in this House, we should be ashamed of ourselves. I certainly won't support it. Uh,